for um for our personal use. But God has given us these tools to also advance the kingdom. So right now we'll just take opening prayers and then I'll give a brief about the ministry before the host will come up and I'll begin the lecture. So can we just bow our heads in prayer? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, Lord, for um, your grace. It's only by your grace and your mercy that we are here today. We thank you, Father, for this platform you have given to us to be able to interact and also share with one another. We thank you, Father, for the gospel. Thank you for salvation. We thank you, Lord, for uh, the call, the mission, the commission you've given to us to uh, take you on the digital sphere lord we are grateful because it's not by our power we thank you for everyone that is gathered here we thank you because all that will be learning here today would be uh, of good benefit to us we thank you father because this time will not be a waste but father even when we would have been done we know that you would have ministered to us also Lord, we ask that you also reach out to many, that those whose hearts have been steered up for this course will find their way here. Thank you, Father, because we know you heard us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, good afternoon once again. My name is Bliss. I'm representing OCDM. OCDM is Oluwashi Onsefa's Digital Ministries. By the grace of God, we've been given the mandate to take Jesus digital, and that's to advance the gospel of Christ on digital sphere. That's to take the gospel uh, beyond our walls. Not, um, we are not limited geographically. We are not limited. Uh, we don't have to uh, start thinking about how to travel <laughs> to one location or the other before we take the kingdom, before we advance the kingdom of Christ. So this workshop has been set up to uh teachers we're going to be interacting with one another we're going to be learning we're going to be listening we're also going to be understanding you know, it's possible that we all are familiar with facebook i believe and we, it's possible that we do not know the hidden secrets about facebook or the or the um, uh, treasures that are in facebook or what god has provided us with and so this workshop has been uh, set up for this course. So we are hoping that by the grace of God, at the end of this workshop, you would have understood better what it means to uh, take Jesus digital, what it also means, how you could use your Facebook to reach out to many across beyond borders, how you uh, probably as an individual or as a ministry can uh, uh, use this platform also to achieve your objective. I believe, um, you know, the one assignment we've been given as um, christians regardless of what our, whatever our vision is or not it's to uh, go uh, and you know preach the gospel to all nations and teach them about uh, christ so our found the founder of this ministry digital ministries the founder will be the one taking us today he will be teaching us like he said there will be a facebook evangelism workshop available to us in the course of the workshop so also, if you know anyone that would love to be here, you can just, you know, get in touch with them. You can, but I would just like us to pay attention, to give our focus here as much as possible. For the fact that you are here, um, just maximize it. You make the best out of it. We'll also be um, allowed to ask our questions as time goes on. But please, let's just mute our mics for the meantime so that we don't have too many voices interrupting the teaching. And we can also always send the message in the chat room and would... Uh, no, we'll note that and if you have questions too, if you have problems with maybe network or anything, you can just let us know in the chat room and then we'll see how we can help. So I'd like to bring up the host, the founder and the teacher of today's workshop. So he'll take over from here. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Um, good evening, everyone. I trust you are all doing fine. Uh, I trust you are we are doing okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for uh, being here. Thank you for being part of the ministry of taking Jesus to the ends of the earth. Uh, the ministry that has been given to us that we should plead to people be reconciled unto God. Uh, we being ambassadors of Christ. Okay, what we are here basically for is for the Facebook evangelism. We are actually here for the Facebook evangelism, and we will be doing a lot more of 
talking practical. And I want us to be attentive and also at the same time, I want us to, um, I want this place to be interactive in a way. Um, so, okay, uh, le let's start from, I'll be sharing my screen. I'll be sharing my screen because I've prepared a workbook. I've prepared a workbook for everybody. So I'll be sharing my screen. The workbook will be available after, um, after the workshop, we'll send the workbook to our uh, emails or possibly we'll refer you to where to download it. But uh, in the meantime, please just, just try and follow. Oh, okay. I hope we can all see my screen. Please, I hope you can all see my screen. Okay. All right, let me continue. This is uh, Facebook Evangelism Workshop. Please, at any point in time, if maybe you can't hear me or you can't see uh, my screen, please, can you let me know through, not through the text now, through voice, just if you have any observation, um, you can raise up your hand. There is a feature. There is a feature here that is you can easily raise your hand, and um, the hosts, the co-hosts, they will attend to you if you have any problem. Uh, they will attend to you, and so that it won't, the meeting won't have a lot of um, clash of voices clash of audio so please let's pay attention so this is facebook evangelism workbook that is developed by uh, ocdm fashion surface digital ministry and um, we will be discussing about a lot of things that is here which is this is the table of content of the workshop uh the purpose of the workbook uh what is digital evangelism why digital evangelism why Facebook for digital evangelism, uh, setting up Facebook for evangelism, choosing a platform on Facebook, uh, understanding your mission on Facebook. Uh, we'll also talk about the digital evangelism models, uh, the strategies for Facebook evangelism. And also we'll talk about Facebook Messenger and Facebook ads. And on the final notes, we'll discuss some things on the final notes. So uh, let, let's go to the purpose of the workbook. Uh, the purpose of the workbook is uh, the main goal of the workbook is to uh, develop the goal of spreading the gospel to the ends of the earth using digital platforms like Facebook. And uh, we'll be treating some models and everything in this uh, in this particular workbook. And we want us, I want us to know that these models are actually applicable to other platforms, like other platforms like Instagram and so on. They are also applicable to other platforms like Instagram and so on, but uh, we just narrow it down to Facebook because that is our major, that is our major concern for today, Facebook evangelism. 
So the purpose of this workbook is just to guide us to It's just to guide us in uh, whatever we'll be doing. And like I said, it's a workbook, it's a practical workbook that um, we are, are as detailed as possible. Uh, we are as detailed as possible in the workbook. And also, um, we really want you to follow the process. So I end it with enjoy the process. Uh, what is in the workbook is not the ultimate, it's not the final. But as time goes on, we can keep on develop new things. We can keep on learning new things and uh, we discover new things. You know, when we do some things more and more, more and more, we discover it. But the, the limitation to discovering of more is when we don't do anything at all. Because this platform has been uh, available for a long time and it's like we don't actually uh, do something on it to see whether we can uh, win souls for Christ. So uh, we'll be starting with what is we'll be starting with what is digital evangelism. Uh, what is digital evangelism? Anytime I want to talk about digital evangelism, I do say that it is first digital before it is, a, it is first evangelism before it is digital. Uh, before the digital era came to be, evangelism has been in existence for more than 2,000 years ago. And so it is first evangelism before it is digital. So we must define the evangelism and we use it to define the digital. And you know, evangelism is telling people about the good news of Jesus Christ. And what's the good news? The purpose of the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is it, to grant grace to all mankind, uh, to bring peace. The Bible called uh, the gospel, the gospel of peace. That is, it means that to bring peace, like to uh, to bridge the gap that has been set from the onset of man, to bridge this gap. And uh, I put here that if the message, if the message is not about Christ, it is not digital, actually. And that is the fact. If the message is actually not about Christ, uh, the message is not digital. Uh, is not, it is not digital evangelism. Because we have a lot of people that say they are doing digital evangelism these days that, uh, you know, even what is the purpose of evangelism in the first place? The purpose of evangelism in the first place is to introduce, invite people to Christ. Uh, the purpose of evangelism is to invite people to Christ. And when we don't uh, actually, whatever we do on the internet world that does not invite people to Christ, it is actually not evangelism because we have been doing a lot of things and we target evangelism. Uh, it's not evangelism. Whatever we are doing that is not inviting people to Christ or that is not talking about Christ, it is uh, not evangelism. So before we go into fully our work for today, before we go in fully into uh, the digital strategies and so on, I want us to note something. That is the internet statistics in Nigeria. Uh, this, uh, this statistics was made by January 2021. So you should have known that there would have been some changes. The last time, the, this is the last uh, document I can set my hands on. So in Nigeria, we have 208 million uh, population, like 208 million. That's as a 2000, as a 2021, January 2021. And out of this 208 million, we have 187 uh, million people using mobile connections. And we have 104 million people with internet. Meanwhile, we have 33 million people on social media like the active social media users. When they mean active, 
it means that those that are active, not those that are passive, the active, um, the active social media users, 33 million people. Wow, what, um, what a, what is statistics? 33 million people. It means that you have opportunity of uh, reaching 33 million people only in Nigeria now. And one funny part about digital evangelism is that you can even be in Nigeria and be evangelizing for the people of Zimbabwe. You can be in Nigeria and just maybe your, maybe your target may just be people of Ghana and you will be evangelizing you'll be doing evangelism to the people of Ghana from Nigeria. But now we are using Nigeria as, um, even though Nigeria is not the uh, highest population that they are using uh, social media, active social media users in Egypt are far more than that of Nigeria. So, uh, Like I said, we have one or four million people using uh, the internet. That is 50% of the population. 50% uh, of the population uh, that is using the internet. And uh, let us see, according to uh, SEM Rush, let us actually see uh, how many visits we have. Uh, how many visits we have in December 2020? In Nigeria now, this is in Nigeria because we have billions of visits all over uh, the world, but this is in Nigeria. And, um, and one, thing that would, one thing that will actually point your attention to in this workshop is, I want us to look at this. This is um, websites, 20 websites. Uh, this is 20 website now. I want us to point our attention to something. Now, from 1 to 20, there is no uh, 1. Let me point our attention to 1. There is no Christian website from 1 to 20. Well, that is the first thing. Now, the second thing I want us to point our attention to is that from this first website, from 1 to 20, we have three betting sites. From 1 to 20. Please, can you hear me clearly? Because I think my microphone is sounding somehow. Can you still hear me? Please let me know whether you can hear me. We can see you, sir. Okay, all right. So, from 1 to 20, we have three betting websites. That's, even one is ranked as number two, betnigeria.com, uh, number eight, betking.com, and number 19, sportybet.com. That is that on his own. Now, in this one to 20 websites, uh, we have two pornography websites. Two pornography websites. The first one is ranked at number six, while the second one is ranked at number 11. So uh, we must know we must know that uh, we Christians, we have a lot of work to do, actually, to project Christ. We really have a lot of work to do. And if we can start by this little thing, by taking, um, even if we can start by dominating the Facebook, uh, is a great way to start, actually. Uh, is, a, is a great way to start. So uh, as you can see, number one, to number 20, the top websites by traffic. This is just in December last year. This is just in December last year. Um, uh, 
uh, we have Google, Bet Nigeria, we have Facebook, Nigerland, and I want to point our attention to something also that Facebook is the third most visited site in Nigeria. So if we can take the gospel to the third most visited site in Nigeria, the, the commission, the great commission is to take the gospel to wherever man is found. And this is where man is found, actually. <laughs> From this 1 to 20, this is where man is found majorly in Nigeria. So if we can take the gospel there, uh, we'll be doing ourselves a great favor, actually, in fulfilling our commission, in fulfilling our ministry. So now let's go to social media usage now. The social media statistics in Nigeria, like we said we have 33 million people, and that is 15% of the total population. And this is actually increasing on a daily basis. This is increasing on a daily basis. There is no how, there is no how, uh, you can stop that. I used to tell people, I, I, I do tell people, I said that, see, this um, digital era, it cannot get better. It will keep on increasing at a speedy rate. It cannot get better. So uh, he said percentage, that's the last one, uh, the percentage of total social media users accessing, um, total social media users accessing via mobile, that is 92.2%. So we have uh, almost 33 million people with a um, smartphone that is accessing the social media. Hallelujah. Now, this is the statistics from the advertising uh, profile. Now, it said, as you can see, that in 18 to 24 years old and 25 to 34 years old, we have more people on social media. Let me say 18 years to 44 years we have more people on social media. So that means that this digital age is actually for uh, more of the younger generations. Almost all of the younger generations are actually on the digital sphere. Almost all of the younger generations. This is 18 to 44 uh, years old. So the most used social media platforms in Nigeria, number one is WhatsApp. No. Everybody, almost everybody that have a phone actually uses WhatsApp. Uh, almost everybody that actually have a phone actually uses WhatsApp. Um, WhatsApp, your first, Facebook, second, YouTube, third, Instagram, fourth, Facebook, Messenger, fifth, Twitter, Telegram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Snapchat, Pinterest, Skype, Google Hangout, Reddit, uh, Google Hangout, Reddit, WeChat, Tumblr, and so on. Uh, we will still actually be discussing about how to take Jesus Digital through how to take Jesus Digital through the um, through other platforms. We'll still be discussing how to take Jesus Digital through other platforms, but for now, just uh, bear with us as we will only we will only be talking about the uh facebook for now we'll only be talking about facebook for now we we'll still have uh platforms on whatsapp youtube instagram blogging uh writing and so on all right uh facebook is the second most visited most used social media platforms in nigeria right. so let's go to facebook Facebook has, uh, in Nigeria, a total number of 29 million people uses Facebook. Many times when I actually want to use, many times when I actually want to do evangelism and I prefer, and I prefer to use uh, Facebook, a lot of people used to think that, why do I talk more about Facebook? 
Uh, the reason why I talk more about Facebook is first, um, Facebook is where most people are found, actually. Uh, we cannot ignore that fact. We know that there are a lot of rising social media platforms that is coming up, maybe um, TikTok, maybe Instagram, maybe whatever it is that they may be. But as it stands now, Facebook still has uh, the highest number of community users. When I mean community users, I am excluding WhatsApp when I actually mean community users now, because WhatsApp is only a messenger platform. So uh, we have 29 million people uh, using Facebook, and we have 41.4 percent that is females, and we have 56.8 percent that is male. 41.4 percent that is females, 58.6 percent among the 21 million people that is female, and um, 26. 22.6 percent is 13 plus their age 13 plus please i don't want us to see these statistics as i don't want us to see these statistics as the final i don't want us to see these statistics as the final but this is what we can get the last time uh a statistics was measured. Now, Facebook Messenger. Our uh, Facebook Messenger also is a tool that we'll be talking about in digital evangelism. It is actually, it will be a very useful tool in digital evangelism. You know, this is where we will engage people and we invite them to Christ. So we have more than 4 million people. Automatically, if you have a Facebook, Automatically, if you have a Facebook, um, you will definitely have an account on Facebook Messenger. So, um, why Facebook for evangelism? Um, pardon me for the mistake. Why Facebook for evangelism? Uh, you know, we went through the statistical journey to our farm that there are a lot of opportunities on Facebook and the internet world to uh, to share Christ. You no, know, we didn't just go through those statistical journey to bore you with numbers and percentage and everything. But we actually went through those statistics so that you can know that we have a lot of opportunities. This is not even talking about other countries now. Because our focus in OCDM is actually the continent of Africa. Even though Nigeria may be our base, but the continent of Africa is our focus. Uh, we want to spread Jesus on the digital sphere throughout the continent of Africa. So we actually go through all this statistical journey to see the opportunities we have on Facebook. And when Paul was talking in the book of 1 Corinthians 9 verse 22, he said that when I am with the weak, with those who are weak, I share their weakness for I want to bring the weak to Christ. Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone, doing everything I can to save some. And when Paul was sharing this scripture, Paul uh, was sharing it out of um, a burden. Paul was sharing it out of a burden that he will do anything. He will use any platforms. He will use any uh, anything he has to do to share Christ to people. Hallelujah. This And this will actually stay up to take Jesus to the Facebook platform. And also, actually, Facebook is widely accepted in Nigeria and also in Africa. And it's a place where you can even find an average teenager. It can also be accessed through, uh, through various through various phones. Now, our action point, what is our action point here is that we meditate on the reason why Facebook is a tool for evangelism. We meditate on the 33 million people on the internet that need to hear about Christ. Then we should share your ideas for meditation with a friend of yours so that you can both take uh, Jesus Digital. This is actually for uh, when you'll be using the workshop personally on your own. So uh, let us go to 
uh, let us go to why digital evangelism. One, because the world is digital and the gospel must go digital. Uh, the, world, the world is actually digital now and the gospel must uh, go and the gospel must go digital. And also, uh, digital evangelism is the fastest way to reach people without stress. I, I once said it that you can be in Nigeria, uh, you can be in Nigeria and you can actually be evangelizing to somebody in Ghana, to somebody in Zimbabwe, to somebody in Namibia, to somebody all over Africa. So it's the fastest way to reach people uh, without stress. And also, uh, people are desperate for online communities. You know? People are desperate for online communities. And people find online interaction saver. Uh, we, we, started, we started our own, uh, we started our own platform for digital evangelism recently. And we see people trooping into uh, to engage us about Christ, you know, to want to know more about Christ. Some people want to know more about uh, Christ, want to know more about their uh, spiritual goods. They want uh, to improve more in their spiritual goods. People find online interactions, they find it safer. And also, uh, online engagement facilitates long-term engagement. You know, you can engage for a long time online you know you can pick up a message from where you stopped maybe like uh, four days ago it's different from when you have a physical meeting and six there are no geographical boundaries i think i've explained that you know you can there are no geographical boundaries you can reach people all over the world so no boundaries um seven Uh, seven, there is a societal change and uh, we must embrace it. As the world is going, the digital world also, uh, the digital world also is actually increasing the more as we are having, as we are having more and more research on the internet world, the digital world also is increasing. So we must also embrace it to, um, to use it for the gospel. Actually, eight, we need to raise a generation of digital ministers. Yes, we need ministers online. Yeah, we need ministers online. No, a lot of churches don't believe that yet. But as time goes on, I, I, I want to say that in 10, 15 years time, a, the churches that does not believe in having digital ministers as at now, they will actually see the essence of why we are clamoring for digital ministers now. And also, nine, uh, non christians are searching for Christ online. Uh, if you do a keyword research, keyword research is part of uh, what is called search engine optimization. If you do a keyword research, you will see that non-Christians are actually searching for Christ uh, on Google, on Facebook. Ten, it is cheap and affordable. And eleven, it is easier. That's it. It is very, very easy. Uh, for you to evangelize Christ on the digital world, you don't need to possess... Um, you don't need to possess one special skills or so to evangelize Christ on the digital world. So um, setting up Facebook for evangelism, setting up Facebook for evangelism. Uh, I believe every one of us here, we have a Facebook account, but I just include this for those that are new to Facebook. I actually included this for those that are included new to facebook uh one in five nigerians have an account on facebook so i assume you are one of the one in five but if you don't have an account you can set up your profile by going to facebook you register your name your email and password uh this is a checklist that i have actually developed in setting up our account because some of us we see facebook as a dump dumping grant we just go there we dump our pictures we go there you dump something, you go there, maybe you see one, uh, maybe you see one funny thing and you go to Facebook, you dump it there. No, no, no. Uh, we should make sure you have our profile picture. We should have a bow on our profile. 
if you have some photos about yourself, if you will be engaging people online, people will want to know more about you. People will want to see who you are. People will want to know who you are. So uh, please uh, try to add some photos, real photos now about yourself. Maybe consistent photos so that people will know that uh, um, the, um, the person that they will be talking to, uh, people will know that yes, this person is not a robot or is not a bot. And please make some friends. You no, know? it's very easy. Please make some friends. It's very it's easy to make friends on Facebook. You even Facebook will actually refer some friends to use according to your location. Facebook will read your location and will actually refer a friend to you. And in which you will be surprised. Ah, how did they know that I know this person? No, it is actually your location that they are using. Uh, Talk about Jesus on your feed. Please share about Jesus on your feed. When you message somebody to evangelize Christ and the person just should look at your uh, Facebook feed and will, and is surprised not to even find anything about Jesus there. No, it will sound weird. It will sound weird. You just share something about Jesus once in a while, if not every time. If you are not um, maybe a minister like us, that all we know is to talk about Christ on the digital world. So, just make sure you share and please share about other things also because this is one of the things we must talk to christians about they're just because you want to go on facebook to maybe bombard people with the message of christ does not mean that you can't share about other things you know engage in meaningful discussions meaningful in quotes and um, engage in meaningful discussions and share some things uh, about so other things actually choosing a platform on facebook this platform actually performs different things but we need to understand them in order to know which platform we will be using it this platform actually it's it, it performs different functions you know, a lot of people don't know where to use a facebook profile where to use a facebook page and where to use a facebook group Uh, well, you might be wondering, uh, how can I know the best platforms? And all these platforms can be utilized actually to evangelize Christ. That's what we'll be going about today. All these platforms actually can be used, utilized to evangelize Christ. So let's talk about the Facebook platforms that we have. Let's talk about the Facebook profile. You know, a Facebook profile, just follow me as I read. Um, I actually... This workshop actually not to be once, actually ought to be two days, but I'm still seeing whether we'll be able to finish this today because we have limited time. Uh, maybe we'll uh, continue later, or maybe we'll have to finish it and we'll just drop the workbook. And if you have any questions, you can send them and we can answer. Whichever way we'll do it, uh, we'll let you know at the end of the workshop. All right, so a Facebook profile is an individual's personal account where he or she can post updates, upload videos, uh, upload photos, share videos, maintain a friends list, and provide personal information. Though a profile is often used to refer to the page of both personal and professional accounts. You know, businesses have Facebook pages which offer advertising features. Profiles are intended strictly for individuals only and are meant for non-commercial purposes. I'm very sure some of us don't know that. If you use a profile for a commercial gain, it's actually a violation of Facebook terms of service. I'm very sure some of us don't know that. And we can actually get the account suspended. And that is why a Facebook page is there that you can use for a commercial gain. You know, a Facebook profile is very different from page or group. It is the center point of managing all platforms. You can use your Facebook profile to manage Facebook groups, to manage Facebook pages. Without your Facebook profile, you cannot have a Facebook pages and Facebook group. So, right, a Facebook page, let me just read the first paragraph, is a public Facebook account that can be used by brands, organizations, artists, and public figures. Businesses use pages to share contact information, post updates, share content, 
promotes events and releases, and perhaps most important, connect with your Facebook friend. Well, let me tell you something today that if you want to do evangelism, like I said, you can do it as a Facebook profile. Uh, if you are doing evangelism as a profile, it means you'll be doing it as individual, no, not as an organization, not as a church. Because I know some of us here, we are representing our church. And if you want to do a Facebook, if you want to do evangelism on Facebook, through your Facebook page, you'll be doing it either as um, either as a fan page, maybe a public figure, or as a church now, or as a ministry. Maybe you might have a ministry, and you can do it also as a ministry. Uh, but if you want to do this as a Facebook profile, profile should be done through individual, maybe messaging of people individual. And even the funniest thing is. Um, Facebook has actually made it easy that if you have a profile that's maybe up to 5,000 or so, you can actually turn the profile to a Facebook fan page. I don't know if you, I, I know some of us don't know that actually, but I'm actually telling you that you can actually turn your profile to a page. If you have maybe, you know, profile is as 5,000 uh, maximum. But if it is more than 5,000, there is a new feature now that you can now have people following your profile. That you can now have people following your profile. But it is very easy for you to turn that profile, to turn it to a page. Where, uh, when you get this, when you get this um, workbook, you'll be able to do that because that is the link there. You'll be able to do that to turn It to a page so now we are going to facebook groups now is that these are spaces on social media network for friends acquaintances or people with similar interests to discuss or share about broad or narrow topics facebook groups are actually useful to bring people of common interest together example maybe there are people of the same religious uh, mindset you no know? people of maybe Christianity in the same group, maybe people that only talk about media in the same group, people that only talk about websites in the same group, people of common interest. You must understand that that is Facebook groups. And you can actually use Facebook groups for a small, when you are creating a small group, maybe a group of 10, a group of 20, a group of 30, 100, that you just want to share the world together, you want to invite people in your midst and so on. That we'll actually discuss later. Um, so Facebook groups are open for anyone to join, and the content is visible to the entire Facebook community. That is when we have public groups. We have public groups, we have open groups, and we have closed groups. We have open groups and we have um, closed uh, groups. So now, let's go back again to you choosing a Facebook platform now you choosing a Facebook platform. A Facebook profile will be for individual evangelism. A Facebook group will be for group evangelism. It can be used for both individual church or ministry. Why a Facebook page can be used as a church or as a ministry? So if you want to choose a platform on Facebook, if you want to choose people for Facebook groups, uh, it can be used for group evangelism. No, you can easily invite people to a group and share content that talk about Jesus. Uh, recently, uh, Facebook have banned people from just adding people from to the groups, but you can easily invite. Let me say you create a group that talks about uh, addiction and you want people of similar interest to come into the group so that uh, you can actually attend to them. You can easily send an invite to majorly um, all your friends on Facebook through Facebook Messenger so that they can actually come into the group and you can share content that talk about Jesus. And you encourage them that people who want to delve more into knowing about Jesus can actually message one of the admin. You'll be surprised that you see people coming to you see people coming to you 
your messenger platforms to actually talk more. You no know, Facebook groups also, like I said, churches and ministry. We actually use this particularly for evangelism. But if you want to evangelize personally, maybe if you are here on your own, a Facebook profile would be uh, the best. I hope we will know the kind of platforms um, that we'll be able to use when we are done with this workshop. Okay, understanding now your mission. Well, the ultimate mission we have is to, is to represent Christ in the digital world. That is the utmost uh, mission, ultimate mission that we have, uh, going into the world, uh, be an ambassador of Christ. First Corinthians 5, 17 to 21 says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation. The old things has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God. What you guys reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Everybody, each and everyone has been given this ministry. And uh, that God was reconciling the world to himself. He's not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the ministry of the message of reconciliation. He said, therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. God making is appeal to us. We employ you on behalf of Christ. He said, be ye reconciled to God. He said, though God has given us each different visions to enable gospel spread across the world. One, we must be an ambassador of Christ. Two, we must make appeal to people. And three, uh, we must implore them to be reconciled to Christ. This is our ultimate mission. But uh, as this is our ultimate mission, we still have uh, different responsibility that Christ has given us. And this is where, this is some of the ways that we miss it in the digital world. Uh, we have different visions to fulfill this agenda. That's a fact. We are actually focusing on the digital sphere now. Like I said, uh, our message was, uh, our message, that our mandate was for Africa to make sure that the gospel of God is spread throughout Africa. No, we have different, some people are given different age ranges to target. Maybe some people are giving older people to target. Some people are giving, uh, God has given the assignment of younger generations to some people. God has given the assignment of teenagers to some people. And some people have different assignments. Some, some people may be maybe to talk about addiction. Some people may be to talk about depression. Some people may, may be to talk about faith. Um, um, winners uh, in Nigeria, yeah, um, Bishop Feto Edepo, his mandate is actually liberation mandate, to liberate people with the message of faith. So we have different assignments like that. There are a lot of things that uh, Bishop Boedepo said in one of his sermon that he said that if there, there are some things that he wants to do as a ministry and as an individual, but because God has not sent him, uh, he cannot do that. It is, we must understand that we have different assignments. Uh, we must, it's very important. And different focus. Uh, we must understand, we must understand that we have different locations to target and different patterns, but the same gospel. Wherever we are targeting must be the same gospel. And what is the gospel? Christ crucified and resurrected. The death, the, the birth, the death uh, of Jesus Christ and his resurrection. No, Apostle Paul actually understood this. Apostle Paul actually understood this when he said he was sent to make the gospel known to the Gentiles and Apostle Peter to the Jews. So we must actually understand this if we want to if we want to do more in the digital sphere. So uh, understanding your audience in prerequisites, understanding your audience is prerequisite to um, knowing how to reach them. No, the way you approach a younger generation in the digital world is different from the way you approach an older generation. Uh, like I said, this is um, one of the this is one of the
this is one of the things that we must take note of. This is one of the things that we must actually take note of if we want to understand the digital world properly. If we want to understand how we go, how we use our message in the digital world, that is one of the things we must understand. Because if you don't understand your mission in the digital world, there is no how you can actually reach the people that you want to reach. There is no how you can develop strategy to use in reaching them. No, like I said, know the location of your assignments know the demography of the assignments, know the interest of your assignments, know the message of your assignments. Uh, Mark, Matthew 10 verse 5, when Jesus sent out the 12, he gave them a commandment. He said, go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter you not, but go rather to the Lord's Sheep of the house of Israel. He's sending them to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And he's saying that go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus sent them actually to the lost sheep and not to the Gentiles. So uh, we have to be specific on who God is sending us to. Uh, and that is. Actually, when that is actually when we understand that is actually when we understand um, our vision, our mission on the digital world, in the digital world, on Facebook. If we don't understand this, there are some strategies that we'll be using that we will not actually align with what we are doing. So I said that when you understand your mandates, your vision and mission, you will know which platform to use and how to use it. Well, these are the workshops. These are um, these are the uh, action points that you will actually get to when you get access to the uh, workbook. Okay, um, sorry, these are the digital, now we are going to the serious business, uh, the digital evangelism models. We are going to the serious business, but I want us to stop here. I want us to stop here because uh, of, uh, I just want us to stop here so that probably uh, we'll continue tomorrow. I want us to continue tomorrow, uh, maybe by six o'clock. And uh, let's have another session, maybe by six o'clock uh, tomorrow. I want us to continue with the workshop because we'll now be, let me just brief us what we'll be discussing about. Uh, it will actually also make a lot of people also to join us and to partake in this important part. Uh, we will talk about the evangelism models, the digital evangelism models, the broadcasting model and the interactive model. We have actually been using more of the broadcasting model. We dump our event on the Facebook. We dump our live videos on Facebook. But we don't actually delve more in, in the interactive model. No, we'll talk about the broadcasting model. We'll talk about the interactive model. And um, we'll now talk about the strategies. Now, how? It will be from invitation to interaction to decision. Or it might be from invitation to decision to interaction. But the entry is that we have to give them invitation to talk. The invitation might be um, messaging them on their Facebook Messenger privately, um, messaging them and talking more. That is interaction. Then at last they give their life to Christ. We we'll talk about some discussion starter that we have seen that it is very, it is, it is needed when we want to invite people to talk. You know, we ask asking some questions. One of the ways discussion starter, request for prayer, 
uh, devotional study, short inspiration videos about Jesus um, and proofs. Uh, we, we can actually read more people also about uh, having proofs. Actually, you might be surprised. How? Oh, okay, don't worry. We'll know tomorrow by six o'clock. Uh, by sharing your testimony, and we also talk about Facebook ads. You know how you can spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. I used to say something that when, if we can divert the money that we use, if we can divert the money that we use for for printing of tracts to run a Facebook ad for evangelism, we we'll actually have more like times three of what we have actually uh, the result of what we have been getting. We we'll actually have more. We we'll also talk about Facebook Messenger because it is very important. And there is a there is a course also that we we'll recommend for you to go and uh, take. The course is how to respond online to questions on faith. There is the course we we'll actually then we we'll go on the final notes and we end uh, the workshop. So I will give way for questions, but uh, we'll be back tomorrow by six o'clock. Please make it a date and let us discuss more about uh, digital evangelism. Uh, thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions. This is time to ask our questions before we take our leave. Do you have any questions, contributions? Please, are you with me? So please let's know if you have any questions so that we can attend to them. Any questions, any questions, any questions? Okay, uh, if there is no questions or if there is no contribution, okay, I want us to thank everybody for joining this workshop. We'll continue tomorrow by six. I hope we'll all be around. Uh, I hope we'll all be around for uh, tomorrow by 6 p.m. West African time. I hope we'll be around and so that we can delve more uh, to talk about the strategies that we have tested actually and that have worked in digital Facebook evangelism. It is not the broadcasting model that we all know of just dumping things on Facebook and expect people to just catch it and to receive Christ. No, 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 no. It's, it's more than that. If there is somebody that actually interacts with people most in the Bible, and that is the person of Jesus Christ. He interacted, Jesus Christ was seen as the person that interacted more with people, and it actually gave a way for his ministry on it, and that is what the digital sphere also has actually, that is what the digital sphere has created opportunity for us today, in which we must, uh, in which we must know. Thank you very much uh, as you join us in today's workshop. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, uh, please let me know in let me know in the comment section if we will be available tomorrow. Tomorrow by six. Let me know in the comment section if we will be available tomorrow by six o'clock. I'm waiting on.
ओके ओके गॉड माइंड ग्लोबल मिनिस्ट्री डू यू हैव ए क्वेश्चन आई सो यू रेज अप योर हैंड डू यू हैव ए क्वेश्चन और यू कैन अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ Okay, okay. So I don't have a question. Okay, I can see that people are saying they'll be available. So please, let's make it a day tomorrow. Uh, God bless us. I will hand over to Miss Bliss for the closing remarks and also for the benediction. Okay. Oh wow! Well, we thank God for that session. <clears throat> We appreciate you so much, sir, for the knowledge you have impacted into us today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the resources that you have used. So, like we have said, I've seen a comment. I believe we were blessed. I believe we've learned one thing. Uh, I believe we've taken something new. You know, of course, I also picked something that I'm going to try out. So, I, I hope we are going to try and practicalize those things that we've heard today. So, like we said, tomorrow, please let's also be here. Let's also invite others. You know, you can share the link. You can invite um other people to be part of it. At least they can catch up with us tomorrow, and then by the grace of God, getting access to the workbook, they'll be able to learn other things that uh they had missed out. So, right now, we we'll just like to close this meeting in prayers before we go. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, for. how you have helped us how you have um ministered to us we thank you father for everyone you have gathered here we are gathered here because of you we thank you lord for the opportunity and the privilege you've given us to serve in your vineyard lord we ask that all that we have heard today you would help us oh god to utilize them in um carrying out the assignment you have given to us one thing we learned today is that we have been called to reach specific people different uh Uh, different groups, different genders. It might be teenagers, it might be adults. Lord, we ask that you help us to use these things to fulfill the assignment, to carry out the vision, the mandates that you have given to us as individuals. And we ask, oh Lord Jesus, that our lives also will speak of you. That Father, Lord, we would indeed be witnesses, will testify of your glory. Father, manifest yourself through our lives, oh God, and let um let us be the epistles that men will read and come to the knowledge of you thank you because we know you've heard us we ask the father you bless the founder you bless um, our teacher today and also bless the ministry and everyone that is part of this We ask, oh Father, Lord, that this will, um, this will be the list of things that you will do with them. We ask, oh God, for greater things, greater um assignments and exploits that you will do through them. Thank you, Father, because you we know you heard us. For in Jesus' name, we pray. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, if you have questions, you can always reach out to us. You can always um contact us, follow up on social media, or you can bring your questions tomorrow, and also we attend to them. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.